Why shouldn't they have a coronary over something like that, Brent? I mean, when they hear that sort of money being laid down, is there no concern at all that some nefarious forces can somehow infiltrate Super Bowl 52? <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know you're laughing, but seriously, I mean, g- g- give me that response here. Well, what's Tom Brady's salary, do you know? It's through the roof. How many? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So, so if you're going to if you're going to fix an NFL game, which player, which position, forget a name, which position are you going to start with? Now I'm going to I'm going to give you an asterisk on this because we all know we would choose the quarterback, okay? Sure. And way back in the days in the 30s of the professional football games, there was a lot of rumor and gossip about uh, certain quarterbacks gambling on games. If if you went to Mr. Brady and said, listen, I'd like you just to kind of keep this close, just win this by a field goal or so, uh, it would cost billions and billions of dollars for you to, uh, to, to hammer into one of these professional athletes, whether it's professional basketball, Major League Baseball. I, I'm not concerned about that. I do think, I do think that you have to watch your officials. I think you have to watch them very closely. Uh, I think they have to undergo checks uh, because I think they're, as we have seen with the NBA over the recent decade, you have to be aware. I'm not concerned about any professional athlete today in, in one of our major leagues simply because of the amount of money that they make and, and how much it would take to convince him to shave points or try to do something. I'm not concerned about that. You do have to be aware of your NCAA athletes. I've said it time after time. However, it will not do to legalize gambling on professional sport in this country and not the NCAA because it's going to go on anyway. We know what's going on. Billions and billions of dollars are going to be bet in the global books uh, around the world. And, of course, New Jersey, uh, leading the way, wants to get its hands on some tax dollars, under, understandably so. Uh, listen, certainly the NFL uh, should be careful and beware, but the bookies are their best friend. The bookies are their absolute best friend, and they have been for decades, but they don't understand. They're the ones that want the honest game. Because all things considered equal, they just want to get up middle. They got the pig. They're going to win no matter. Now, most of the time, it's not because you do not have equal money on the two sides. So the so the bookmakers have a position, usually with the underdogs that they're pulling for, to win outright to help them on the house. The leagues don't have to be concerned. And in the case of the National Football League, especially the National Football League, it would not, under any circumstance, be as big as it is today without people taking a position on the game. Now, I'm not talking just about the guys I spoke about, the $2 million better, the half million dollar better. I'm talking about the man-to-man for dinner, the five, the 20, the $100 bets, or the leagues that you play in without even point spreads, picking the winners, or you play in other leagues where you pick maybe five and you got a confidence and you vote them down five through one. This helps fuel the interest in the National Football League. And how about fantasy? They signed in with fantasy. The biggest fantasy in the world are the operators of the NFL franchises trying to convince me that that's not gambling. I mean, come on. Get out of Dodge, baby. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.